welcome back now let's see the construction of the sectional views when the objects are cut by imaginary vertical plane at different orientations consider an example of a cone resting on its base on hp a cutting plane perpendicular to both hp and bp cuts the cone to the left of the axis observe that the projection of section plane appears as vertical lines on both hp and bp the true shape of the cut section appears on an auxiliary plane parallel to the section plane so let's construct the views here plan of the cone is a circle which gives the true shape of base of the cone we will divide it into eight equal parts along the circumference now we will project the details from the plan above the line xy forming the elevation which is a triangle with base a dash e dash on line xy observe the cutting plane cuts the plan of the cone at 1 2 3 4 5 and the elevation at 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash to obtain the true shape of the section we'll draw projectors from these points to the side view so that they intersect at 1 double dash 2 double dash 3 double dash 4 double dash 5 double dash observe joining these points by a smooth curve represents the true shape of the section and this is the complete solution for the cone fine now let's crack another problem a cylinder is resting on hp and a section plane perpendicular to bp and inclined at 30 degrees to hp cuts it at its mid axis here as you already know its top view will be a circle and its front view will be a rectangle as the section plane is perpendicular to bp and inclined to hp the elevation on the auxiliary plane gives the true shape of the cut section of the cylinder this projection of the section plane appears as an inclined line on bp So let's construct the sectional view of the cylinder. Draw the plan which is a circle and divide it into 8 equal parts. Now project these points above the line xy to obtain the elevation of the cylinder which is a rectangle. The elevation of the cutting plane will be a trace line AA inclined at 30 degrees. to xy it cuts the cylinder at 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash 8 dash project these points onto the plan as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now draw a line x1 y1 parallel to aa then the lines from the points on aa are extended further meeting line x1 y1 perpendicularly these points are a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash e1 dash next measure the distance p dash 1 and mark it on the line 1 dash a1 dash to obtain the point One double dash. Similarly, obtain points two double dash, three double dash, four double dash, five double dash, six double dash, seven double dash, and eight double dash. Join these points by a smooth curve and hatch the enclosed figure. This is the true shape of the cut section. Observe. As the section plane cuts across the whole section, the plan itself is the sectional view. So friends, the sectional views are truly helpful in building internal and hidden features.
features of the complex mechanical parts. The cutting plane technique gives the true shapes of the cut sections by revealing the interior elements of the solids.